Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you so you can be the blessing to the people the Lord has put in your life today. Um, so happy almost Easter. I was, uh, I'm like knee deep in finding enough chairs for guests and figuring out what we're going to eat. And anyway, it's a hectic week. But um, this past Sunday, we were reading through this uh, piece of scripture in Luke. And it's... Um, it's the story about right leading up to the crucifixion, uh, the Passover, the last Passover that Jesus had with his disciples and how he was kind of planning this whole thing, kind of ad hoc, last minute, or at least that's the way it appears. And um, they, he told his disciples, he said, as you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters. And it seems just like a side note. I think I've read over this verse a million times. But um, anyway, the minister noted noted to us that um, it was unusual for a man to be carrying a jar of water. Um, It actually was women's work back then. um, So this would have been an unusual sight. And um, I I kept thinking, I've been thinking about it all week, um, about this guy carrying water and how it was integral enough to the story that he mentioned it. And then I was thinking about all the times that I've done work that um, I felt like I shouldn't have been doing. I felt like somebody else should have been doing it. And um, I mean, even lately, there's uh, work that I've had to do that somebody who gets paid to do the job that didn't do, and then I, who am not getting paid to do the job, have had to pick up. And and I was thinking about how I was annoyed about that. But... um, Often, you know, we find ourselves doing things, menial things, that we think somebody else should be doing. But actually, um, at least in this story, it was by divine appointment that this guy was doing um, work that he lowered himself to do. And, um, And I was thinking about how it's just a small, when we do these things, it's just a small illustration, a very, very, very minute illustration of what it was like for Jesus to do the work that he did. Um, that we're going to celebrate on Good Friday and Easter, um, the lowering of himself, the incredible lowering of himself that he did in order uh, to provide salvation. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. And um, and as you're doing work this week, um, I pray that this would uh, be a thought in your head as you lower yourself to serve people, as you lower yourself to... Um, to do the jobs that other people would be doing. Actually, the Lord is giving us a chance to um, to kind of enter in to uh, the incredible work that he did um, that we celebrate on Easter. So I pray that this would be a blessing to you as you go out or stay in. Until next time, Katie.